Hello, my beautiful besties. Welcome back to Down for Glam. My name is Gigi, and we have one more nail to finish on Dolly's set. And I kind of want another crack at that sweater nail trend. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a twist on that just because I want to. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is just build a very thin base for us to do the rest of what I want to accomplish. And then we'll And then we will have a full set completed for Dolly. And she will be ready to rock whatever winter ball is coming with a beautiful marble. We're gonna call this a Christmas flower and a sweater nail. She's gonna be mad, trendy, and just ready to make all the other ladies want to know who her nail tech is. But that's her secret. Actually, no, please. If I'm your nail tech, tell everyone. Give them my card and my Instagram. Right? <laughs> Which I'm not really a nail tech yet, but one day maybe, one day. For now, it's just fun to learn and play. Okay, this is a nice thin shelf to work on. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. Such a bummer. When I put it in the lamp, it got a little displaced, so there's a little shelf there. We are going to try to make sure that doesn't show, but... If this was a real client, you would probably just want to file everything down and do that over because that is going to be a stress point. That's not good, and I'm really bummed that that happened. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take some of this glitter gel that I made during uh, the spring, and we're just going to go ahead and build a little layer on the nail first let's do a little slip layer all the way down we may add more glitter to this honestly i feel like i want this to be more glittery okay Ooh. I have a little thought, I have a little thought. Okay, my thought is let's add a little of this to the mix and give it a little stir and see what happens. And let's see what happens. Just chunky this up a little. Because we are going to encapsulate this Really, we just want to, oh, it looks like a lot of that glitter had gone to the bottom as well. So this is definitely going to make it a little more like what I want. Hopefully it's not too thick. Let's grab some up. Really, I just want to be able to place the glitters. And just have it be Super, super, super cute and full and, oh yeah, just like that. Be careful up by her cuticle. is going to be super cute for um, Easter nails too but you know not everybody really likes the dark colors for winter and we are about to get into some dark colors and fun stuff for winter so I just really wanted to play with pinks okay I'm gonna I, I'm in love with that I'm gonna pop that in the lamp 
Okay, guys, I just wanted to take a quick second and show you that once I finish using a little glitter or something on the brush, ooh, that is crazy. What I do is get all the glitter out as much as possible and then find a glitter-free portion of the lid and work some gel into that brush because that pad has some alcohol on it and I just really want to resaturate this brush and keep it nice and fresh for the next use. And I do actually just sort of shape it on the pad, but not trying to remove gel, okay? I just leave the gel in there and then recap it and we are good for the next use. And here comes Dolly out of the lamp. And we are going to take that uh, that same clear and grab our brush that I use for the clear and pull up a big dollop. Uh, actually kind of a small dollop. And I am going to again just drag it down almost like you're painting it to give us a nice layer for our gel to know where we want it to go. And this is a really good point where you wanna make sure that you are getting into any of those little nooks and crannies that were created by the glitter. So your gel really fills those in. And now I'm gonna get a little bit of a bigger bead and just use the side here to kind of break that off. I kind of like to let my gel settle into a ball real quick before I put it on. And I play with it up here a little just to sort of start to loosen it off the brush and then travel it all the way down. I think we will probably need a little bit more So I'm going to grab another small bead and again I'm just going to use the side of the container to help me break that apart but my ball form and then build the rest of the nail out. I do want to run a little down the middle to help create that apex and make sure everything is nice and even. We're a little fat at the bottom there, but that's okay. Gives us plenty of room to get the filing done. I do want to bring it down a little. I was definitely seeing that there's some areas that are not capped. And that thickness will go to work right there. I'm gonna hold her upside down just to let that gel do its job. Oh, I'm loving that. We're gonna pop it in the lamp. All right, we got her out of the lamp and all filed up. I'm gonna add a little base coat because I just wanna make sure there's no ridges or lines. I just want it to be nice and smooth. And you can see that's so pretty. It's kind of like Top Goat. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the lamp. All right, let's go ahead and top coat, which really is not gonna look a whole lot different, but honestly, I think it is a little shinier than the base coat, because the base coat is made to be sticky and the shiny, or the top coat is meant to be shiny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the lamp as well. All right, now we are going to go ahead and use this background to make the sweater nails.
<clears throat> now I'm just gonna make half not like full crosses just like halves on these lines Oh, I like that. And then I'm gonna do another line. And one dot. little space here. All right, I'm going to pop that in the lamp. Okay, guys, I am just going to wipe this nail down. Make sure it's clean and has no sticky layer. Also, just make sure it's nice and dry. Nothing in those little nooks and crannies to mess with what we're trying to do. Because I want those white areas to be matte, but underneath to stay shiny. So I'm taking a tiny bit of the matte top coat and putting it on my thumb. And I'm running the striper through it. And we are going to mat up these lines the best of our ability. This might be harder than I think, but we're going to try it. Oops. We might have a tiny bit of cleanup here. hit that middle area I'm just gonna run this down the side of that line make sure I think I had a little too much top coat on my brush so that's a lesson right there go sparingly All right, let's pop this in the lamp and see if I made it happen. Okay, I, I actually kind of like it. I'm happy with how it came out. I like that you can see the background is shiny, but the white is just there having its own happy time. Okay, not the best sweater nail in the world. Still really happy with this. So happy with this entire set. Uh, let me know in the comment section below is this a set that suits your fancy or would you just send it on down the road for the next person to wear do you like the sweater nail variation or do you prefer the whole nail to be monochromatic let me know because that's what we're here to do is try different things and do twists on the trends <sighs> thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate your time and attention to this channel we will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.